There's an Ontario election coming up on June the 2nd. Let's go through what each party is promising to Ontarians. Hi, I'm Michael Luzes from Michael Luzes Real Estate, and I'm a realtor in the Greater Toronto Area. Today, I want to break down what each political party is promising for the upcoming election on June the 2nd. Housing and affordability in Canada, the promise of Ontario, and most notably, the Greater Toronto Area has been at the forefront of discussion all year. Each political party has promised to make a plan and try to tackle some of these housing issues. This is not an exhaustive list for each party, but I still wanted to shed some light on some of the major housing topics in each party's promise. I also must mention that I have no bias to any of them and there is no order in which they're being presented. Let's just go through each one one by one and want to hear your comments on them down below. So the Ontario PC Party, their plan includes building 1.5 million new homes over the next 10 years. They also want to invest $45 million to streamline a development approval fund which should accelerate the process to manage and improve housing applications. They're looking to be investing $19 million over the next three years to help reduce backlogs at the Ontario Land Tribunal, as well as the Landlord and Tenant Board. They also want to explore the use of a vacant house tax. As we move on to the Ontario NDP, they want to end exclusionary zoning. They want to bring back rent control and create a portable housing benefit plan. They also want to build 100,000 units of social housing over the next decade and update 260,000 social housing units to extend the lifespan. The Ontario Liberal Party wants to reinstate rent control as it existed before the 2018 election. In this scenario, landlords could only raise the rent at a set rate each year during a lease. Usually that's between 0.5 and 3%. That's still in place for units built before November 15, 2018, but those occupied after November 15, 2018 are not subject to rent control. They want to build 1.5 million homes over the next 10 years and work with municipalities to expand zoning options. Create an Ontario Home Building Corporation to finance and build affordable homes. They want to open up provincial land by burying electric transmission lines, using underutilized strip malls, and creating more affordable housing. Liberals also want to add a new tax on vacant homes in urban areas for developers holding on to land. The Green Party of Ontario wants to build 182,000 permanently affordable community housing rental homes. They want to build 1.5 million homes within urban boundaries over the next 10 years. They want to mandate inclusionary zoning and require at least 20% of units to be affordable in all projects above a certain size allow single family dwellings to be converted into multiple condo units. They wanna reinstate rent controls in all units and put into place a vacancy control, which would limit the increase in rent between tenancies. They wanna implement multiple property speculation and anti-flipping taxes on quick turnarounds and work to reinstate a goal to end homelessness within 10 years. So there you have it, all four parties' plans and some of their promises to tackle the housing issues that we have been hearing about here in Ontario. I'd love to hear your thoughts on these in the comments down below and if you think they will help the affordability issues here in Ontario. If you want to connect with me, book into my calendar, let's jump on a Zoom or a phone call. As always, hit that like and subscribe button and follow me on all social media at Michael Loses Real Estate.